Hello, my name is Avni Shah, and I'm one of the academic directors here at CDL Toronto. CDL Toronto is one of the four sites alongside Atlanta, Oxford, and Paris that are collaborating and running the space stream this year. I also have to give, of course, a special sh shout out to Colonel Chris Hatfield to helping lead and propel this stream on the global stage. All right, just to anyone awake here for that little joke. All right, today I'm really, really thrilled to be introducing one of our very exciting graduates. And that would be Jeff and Amy from Providence Chain Ventures. There they are. So the Providence Chain, Venture, uh, Providence Chain Network is a system of evidence for claims about people, places, processes, and products. They intend to become the SWIFT network for these claims to help make all areas of the supply chain transparent for the appropriate and verified parties. So during the course of the year, they've made it significant progress. They expanded their team and secured contracts with several space companies. So please join me in introducing and welcoming Provenance Chain Network. Thank you for that very warm introduction. Uh, it's an absolute honor to be here. So today we're here to talk about trust. And we live in an, enver an environment where institutional trust, the, the erosion of that is an epidemic. And today I'd like to talk to you about trust in the context of the supply chain. And recent events have brought this to the forefront. Supply chains are something that our, very, our lifestyle depends on. In fact, our lives actually depend upon it. Most of us probably never really give much thought to the airplane that we fly on, but I would suggest to you that has changed. The supply chain failure that caused the Alaska Airlines uh, door plug to blow out was a, a failure of epic proportion, and it vaporized $45 billion worth of shareholder equity. And this is not over with yet. Boeing reported a $4 billion cash drain in the first quarter. Second quarter is projected to be even more. So they're on track to vaporize $20 billion in cash this year if this doesn't get corrected. So let's talk about supply chain uh, trust. And so where does trust come from? First off, it is a human emotion, and it comes from interactions between people where they share information with each other. And it's based on authenticity, transparency, and reliability. And it turns out we as human beings collect evidence. Do they do what they say they're going to do? And that applies to supply chains as well. So how do we collect evidence within the supply chain? Well, let's first start with talking about what a supply chain really is. Supply chain is people showing up at places to take input products, run them through processes, and produce output products. And there's data associated with all of that that comes from a variety of sources, human interaction with a smartphone or a barcode reader, uh, machine vision, GPS locations, timestamps, and one of the very important environments in supply chains is third-party inspections. So what we do is we tokenize requirements or standards. This is what I want you to do in the supply chain. And we gather all of that data and tokenize that evidence. And we compare the two, and we bounce that off of a distributed ledger to create a specialized data model. That allows us to analyze the data, uh, look for anomalies in the supply chain, and most importantly for the future is to predict supply chain behavior. All right, so what does this look like as an end user? So you've got three examples here. One of them is a consumer. They want to make sure that the product that they bought is as what they are looking for to match their standards. So maybe I want organic or I want to make sure the labor was not, you know, was appropriate. Then the middle one is a credential for people. Is this the right person to do a procedure to take this shift? In this situation, it's a certified nurse. Uh, the next one is an example of uh, making sure all the components of a rocket are as built based on the engineering drawings. One of our customers is United States Space Force, and we do this today for all of their launch vehicles to make sure that what they say is on the rocket is actually on the rocket before they launch it. Um, the other one that we're doing today is for credentialing for nurses. So we have both, <laughs> thank you, both commercial and government contracts. Um, 10 patents filed so far with 260 individual claims. So this, product, this protocol works across any supply chain. 
So when we first started with CDL, um, Honestly, we did it for the AWS credits, but anyway, we, we, we realized there's actually a lot of great advice here, and it's kind of like I gave the example, it's like when you're a college athlete, but you want to go to the Olympics, they really get you in shape, and that's what our experience has been with CDL. We've, our CapEx, our capital raise has increased almost 3x, headcount 2.6, annual run rate almost 4x, and the best leading indicator is our pipeline. 17x, so we've got 57 million right now that we're working in pipeline, and no longer is, is Fergus Klein asking what we're doing here, um, and actually some folks believe we have a billion dollar valuated uh, potential. And we think this is only gonna continue because mandates require provenance, and the mandates and the headlines will say, just like Jeff mentioned earlier, more and more mandates are starting to come at us so that we can really understand what are the products that we're buying. So down the left side are all of the mandates that are in place or about to be in place. And then across uh, the top are all the industries that are impacted. So if you've got a red box, you're going to be impacted. That's a lot of market potential. We're already in two of those working on two others. And so our vision, we think this is a $30 billion category. Supply chain transparency and creating a whole protocol for supply chains to communicate. Everything has a digital twin. Those digital twins transact. Our business model is a traditional SaaS business model with transactional services revenue. So every reputable company uses the commercial trust protocol and evidence becomes a multi-billion dollar industry. So I'll leave you with our ask is that we have a series A that we similar to some other folks left it open uh, for this session. We've already raised five of the eight million. So we're looking for an additional three million. Um, we'd love to have some introductions to customers in semiconductors and more customers in advanced manufacturing and aerospace. And then the talent, that's probably one of been our best rewards, is this network is amazing. We um, hired Charlie McGillis from Finding Her Through CDL. She's been helping us with her business development, and we'd love to find more great talent. So if you, have, if you know somebody um, or you have somebody um, in your network, please send them our way. And thank you very much. Thank you all.